In this video, you will learn what engagement metrics in GA4 are, how are they calculated, and how to read them. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. So bounce rate is no longer available in Google Analytics. You might like this or you might hate this, but in GA4, there is a bunch of other metrics designed to measure engagement. I'm talking about things like engaged sessions, engagement rate, and so on. Let's take a look at what they are and where you can find them. Most of the engagement metrics in Google Analytics 4 are related to one definition, which is engaged session. In Google Analytics 4, a session is considered engaged if it has two or more page views, or it has one or more conversion events, or it lasts 10 or more seconds. However, if you think that 10 seconds is too low, then you can configure that and customize to increase up to 60 seconds. You can do that by going to the admin panel of Google Analytics 4, then go to data streams, select your website data stream, then click more tagging settings, adjust session timeout, and here you can increase that number up to 60 seconds. In fact, I would also recommend doing so because in my opinion, if someone stays 10 seconds on a page, that is definitely not enough to consider that visitor as an engaged one. So you can set something like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So if a session meets at least one of these conditions, that session is engaged. And that's when we can take a closer look at certain engagement metrics. You can go to reports in Google Analytics 4, then acquisition, traffic acquisition, and the first engagement metric that you will see is engaged sessions. So sessions right here means all sessions, even those that were not engaged. While engaged sessions are those that had two or more page views, at least one conversion event, or when a visitor stayed for 10 or more seconds, but again, that depends on your configuration. The next metric is average engagement time per session. This metric shows the engagement time when a visitor of your website was looking at your site and then engaging with it. With every event that is sent to Google Analytics 4, Google Analytics also counts engagement time. And based on those numbers, engagement time is calculated. The average per session means that all engagement time is combined and then divided by the number of sessions. So technically this metric is much more precise compared to Universal Analytics time on page. However, don't take this for granted and still look at this metric with a grain of salt. Then we have engaged sessions per user. This metric is calculated by dividing engaged sessions by all users. For example, if you opened your calculator app and divided this number by this number, you would get this number. The higher the number, the better, because it means that your users have more engaged sessions. Then another metric is engagement rate. This was introduced by Google as an alternative to bounce rate. Although personally, I would say that neither bounce rate nor engagement rate should be some very important metric that you should be constantly monitoring. If you're not sure what a particular metric means, you can always hover your mouse on the metric name and then see a quick explanation. Also, I will post a link to a documentation where you can find the descriptions of GA4 dimensions and metrics. I will post a link to it below the video. So engagement rate shows the percentage of how many engaged sessions do you have. It is calculated by dividing engaged sessions by just sessions. So in this case, if you want to read the report, you could say that almost 69% of the traffic that is coming from the organic search is engaged. One important thing to mention is about users, because in Universal Analytics, which is the previous version of Google Analytics, you were used to see the number of all users. Basically, if someone lands on your page and stays on a site for two seconds and then leaves your site, that user is still counted in the users metric. Now here in the standard reports of Google Analytics 4, if you hover your mouse on users, you will see that this time, this is a total number of active users, not all users, but active active users. An active user is a user who has at least one engaged session. In the documentation of dimensions and metrics, you can check the definition of the active user. So in this case, it is a user who has an engaged session or when Google Analytics tracks the first visit of the website or together with an event, this parameter is automatically tracked by Google Analytics 4 or any of these other conditions are met. So the number of active users in this case will always be lower than just users. So if you try to compare the numbers of your older Google Analytics version and your current version, the numbers will definitely not match. 
However, if you want to see total users and active users, you can see that metric in the Explorer section. Then you can select, for example, Freeform. And then in the Metrics section, by default, you will see active users, but you can also click plus icon and find the metric called total users. So this metric will show you the number of unique users who have sent at least one event to your property and that user doesn't have to be engaged. Now, if we go back to, let's say, traffic acquisition report, you might be wondering what is a good engagement rate. But in this case, I would say it depends. However, in most cases, it is usually above 50 or 60%. But in some cases, you might see even higher numbers. There is also one engagement metric in the standard report and you can find it by going to engagement and pages and screens and that metric is average engagement time. Based on the official documentation, this metric is calculated by combining all the engagement time and then dividing it by users. So if we look at this metric, we could say that on average, users on homepage spend more than one minute. And when I say spend, I mean that the website is in the focus of your browser window. Anyway, if some metric, not necessarily engagement metric but if some metric looks unclear to you or maybe confusing always refer to the documentation and you will find the link to it below the video and one more thing is that when i'm recording this video google analytics 4 is still under heavy development so there might be some changes here and there that is why if you notice some differences again try to refer to the documentation or maybe take a look at the description of the video because i might have some additional notes or resources down there so I hope that this added some clarity on engagement metrics in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.